We're going to look at unit testing React components. Um, right here, you'll see that they recommend this library Enzyme from Airbnb, and that's what we're going to be using. It really just makes testing React components a lot simpler and a lot more fun. So what we're going to be doing is shallow rendering. And this basically means it, it's going to keep it more on a unit test level. It's only going to render the, the top component that, that we're testing and not try to render the whole tree underneath it. And we'll be using expect for our assertion library. I've used this to replace chai and Sinon. And so far, I've really been liking this library. And we'll set up Mocha as our test runner. Now, the first thing we're going to do is install our dependencies, npm install minus d. We'll save to our development dependencies. And we're going to be installing Mocha to run our tests. Expect for our assertions. Enzyme for the shallow rendering. And we'll also need to install React add-ons test utils is a implicit dependency of Enzyme. And if we look at our package JSON here, we can see that it has added Enzyme, Expect, Mocha, and the React add-ons test utils to our development dependencies. Now to get started, I'm going to create a new file adjacent to our component file and name it message detail dot test.js and then there's a few different conventions for this this is the convention I'll stick with for the moment now let's start out let's just pull in expect from expect and we'll just write a basic assertion here just to make sure we can run our tests and we'll just give this we'll be describing component message detail and to write our first assertion let's just say it does all the things. And here I'll just make a simple assertion. We will expect true to equal true. This way we can just hit this and make sure that Mocha is set up. So Mocha takes as its first argument the path, and our path is underneath our source directory with this double asterisk. And what that does is it's going to traverse recursively down and look for this file name pattern. So if we run this, you can see that our component does all the things. Now we can start writing our actual tests. 